Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Final Cut Help. Today, we're going to take a look at the color corrector. Now, we've spent some time with this command, but one of the things I haven't shown you yet is how it can be keyframed. What this means is, is that as details change within the shot, maybe the camera pans from a light area to a darker area, you can add a control point or a keyframe and have the filter adjust its values over time. Let's see how it works. I've got a real simple shot here, and we're following a bird as he flies, and then does a really nice dive bomb right into the ocean to get a fish. And it looks like he was successful. Now, this is great, except we go from pointing the camera up into a bright area down into a different area that's a little bit darker. You don't have to accept just a single color correction for the shot. Rather, we can color correct it independently of each other with a gentle transition between the two points. Let's see how that works. I'll grab the shot here and choose Effect, Video Filter, Color Correction, Color Corrector, Three-Way. Now, if you want to practice with this particular shot, you can go ahead and download it from over at creativecow.net in the podcast section. Otherwise, just use one of your own footage clips for practice. Here we have it, and let's double click to load the shot. And there's the Color Corrector Three-Way. Now, we'll start at the beginning of the clip here, and let's put this right where it's a nice representative frame of what the sky looks like. That's pretty good. I'll press the W key here to cycle my wireframe view, and now you see we're back to no wireframe. Nice clear frame. We're going to do a little bit of tweaking here. Let's adjust it. We'll pull the midtones down a bit, open the shot up just a little in the white area, and put some saturation in. That looks fine. As we drag through here, you see the clip is all sky, and then the bird starts to fall. Well, right when that transition point happens, click up here, right next to the word numeric, where you can insert a keyframe. Now, keyframes are usually used in animation, and what it really means is that you set a key position. So in the world of animation, you might have a keyframe where, at one frame, the mouse is here. At another frame, it's over here then the computer fills in the space in between. Well, the same is true with a color corrector. We can set one initial color correction point and then add a second and the computer will transition between the two values for us smoothly. So, there we have it. We're on that particular shot. We've added our single keyframe and let's pan down a bit to the bird is diving. That's pretty good right about there the shot stabilizes, and we're on the water. That's fine. Let's do a quick color correction here. Click to add another keyframe and change the value. I'm going to open that midtone back up a bit, but pull the whites down a little bit more, boost the saturation, and move it a little bit more towards blue to compensate the color of water. Now, if we start and play this clip, you'll see that it does a gentle transition between the two frames. If we want to make that more dramatic, which I'm going to do for just a second, we'll do a very strong desaturation effect. Let's go towards the end of the clip here, and we'll add one more keyframe and pull all the saturation out of the shot, as well as open up the midtones and the whites. There we go. Let's play that from the beginning. You see we have our first value. It holds it until it gets to that first keyframe. Then it's going to transition. And then as it goes towards the end of the shot here, all the color is stripped away. Now, I just did that desaturation over time effect so you really understood how these keyframes could work. You might not do that in every show, but you will definitely have scenarios where you pan from a light area to a darker area or somebody else walks into the scene and you want to adjust the color correction. Maybe you flip a light switch on in the middle of a shot and the room goes from very dark to very light. Regardless, using these keyframes allow you to set different values of color correction within the shot and then have Final Cut gently transition between the two values. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Final Cut Help. My name's Rich Harrington. Be sure to head on over to creativecow.net and check out their Final Cut forums where you can post questions and get answers. Thanks again.